So now for this video, we will be seeing how we can integrate the Swagger API into our Postman and use that API easily and seamlessly uh, within a few just few clicks and you are done. You are in integ in integrating the whole Swagger API into the Postman. Okay. So the API that we are going to use for this video is the Swagger Patch Store API. Okay. So the base URL they, they have given over here. Uh, you can see and if, if you want to uh, get over, get over this page just uh, uh, head over to the browser and write petstore.swagger.io and then you can uh, get to this landing page of the petstore api uh, okay so we will be integrating this swagger api into our postman and we'll see how we can integrate and run the different uh, methods that this api offering us okay so there are put, post, get, delete, all these methods this API gives us uh, and various sections are also there like pet uh, section, store section, user section. We'll see how we can uh, use these API methods and how we can call this within just few clicks. Okay. Now to integrate this you have to uh, get here and uh, just select this text and copy this. Okay. So this is the URL to, for this uh, API just come here and copy this okay uh, so i will be showing you two methods how you can uh, integrate this swagger pet store api into the postman okay so we'll see the first method uh, now you just copy this okay after copying this come out uh, head over to this postman dashboard and over here again click click either click ctrl o to get your con uh, import tab or click on this three dots file and that import okay and now just paste your URL over here. It the postman will automatically detect that it is a URL and uh, give you a prompt choose how to import your API. Okay, so I will be using the postman collection itself. I will not go with the open uh, open API 2.0. We click on the postman collection and I will hit import. As soon as I will hit import, it it will start importing the uh, API into my postman. And it will create one collection if you can see uh, swagger pet store collection and inside that it will get me the pet uh, store user the same way that they have given over here pet store and user the same way I have imported all those methods all those put post get methods ARC store inside store order is there order ID is there like all these methods are I have imported in just one click uh, uh, like in our previous video we have seen how we come here how we see how the documentation we have seen how we have copied this we have pasted over there but all this hectic part I have done with just one URL and I have integrated this swagger pet store API into our postman okay so this is the one way you can do the another way I will be uh, telling you now just I uh, let me delete this first okay so collection deleted now uh, one more way you can achieve this uh, integration is just copy this and just head over to a new tab and just paste this over here after pasting this once you paste okay so this is my uh, one Chrome extension by which I can get the this pretty beautiful uh, way, structured way of the entire JSON object. Uh, I can get the tree tree object as well. Uh, if I just click here and Control A and Control C, I will copy all this entire JSON object uh, doc JSON document. I will just go here and I, again I click Control O or Command O on for uh, Command O for Mac. And if I click here, you can once you are back online okay now i am online oh, i know i don't know why it's getting error okay so I, once i click paste as soon as i click all uh, paste entire document or inside that tab it will automatically detect that it is a swagger pet store api and it will give me option to import that okay so same way i have imported entire uh, that API over here and I have imported all those methods put post get delete uh, all those methods over here itself okay uh, now we will see one method we will see and run one method inside our postman now 
okay so first of all uh, i will go here into my swagger a swagger pet store api and i will see how we can create a new pet okay so there is a post method that says uh, add a new pet to the store okay so slash pet is the endpoint okay so i will go here and inside pet there is an post method similarly as we have seen in the browser i will click on that and you can see the beauty of importing the or integrating the swagger api right in the postman is you can you will get all the url in a very pretty formatted way you just need to uh, replace this base url with the url that they have given to you over here over here you can see base url they have given pet store dot swagger dot io dot v2 okay just copy this and one more thing, uh, one more uh, good feature of Postman is if you hover over this base URL, you can see uh, it is it, it, Postman is also detecting or giving you the entire uh, base URL over here also. You can just click on this copy and paste it. I, uh, but I am I have pasted from the browser. I will just go ahead and select this. And instead of base saying base URL, I will just paste that base URL over here. Okay. So now. Uh, one thing I have to do is uh, since it is a post method, uh, the, it, it should accept one JSON object. Then if I go here and one more thing, the entire, the entire post uh, object that it is going to accept is also pretty formatted in this uh, section. You can see that is the beauty of importing the or integrating the Swagger APIs into your uh, pet postman collection okay you will get all this in a pretty formatted manner and if you just go here and here also you can see the end uh, they have given you one uh, dummy sample this one section that they have told you to uh, to pass the JSON object like in this manner then the same manner we have seen over here itself okay so just go here go ahead and change these parameters so instead of changing all these parameters what I will be doing is just copying this entire and just control A and control V over here okay and I will as soon as I hit send okay method not allowed okay we have seen just yeah we will stick with the older version itself if i hit send okay okay wait 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 i have to pass the entire url i guess that's why it is not working let me just copy and let me just paste it over here itself okay. swagger.io okay swagger.io slash v2 slash pet okay now if i hit send unknown something bad happened server error is there okay let me just copy this my document now i can try and paste it over here and if i hit send yeah now you can see i have uh, get this uh, json object from here and paste it over here and it has created one pet for me with the id this long okay so i will just copy this id because i need that id later okay now since i since we have created one pet uh, now we have to we can uh, get that pet by his id there is one get method that you can see over here find pet by its id i will just click over here okay and now again uh, the entire url is pretty formatted in the postman itself i will just uh, go ahead and uh, get my base URL from here from the last request that we have made and I will just paste that my base URL over here okay so they have also given the parameters over here uh, path pa path parameters okay we have seen a uh, path parameters in our previous video if you haven't watched that video go ahead and watch that video now instead instead of the pet ID we have I have to pass that ID over here Okay, so I will just paste that ID uh, over here. Let me just go ahead and get that ID first. Let me just copy this and I have to paste this entire ID over here. Okay, as soon as I paste the ID and hit send. 
you can see the entire uh, pet details that I, have, I am getting over here by the ID itself and the same pet object I have received as a input from here as well when I am trying to create that pet. Okay, so this is how you can integrate the Swagger APIs. Uh, one, we, one I have show you pet store API and one more API that we have used is bookstore API. Uh, go ahead and try to in, uh, import this uh, or integrate this bookstore API in the Swagger API. Uh, in the po in your in your postman and i hope you like this series uh thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one